dude. Okay. Okay. Wow. I have six pound test. I have six pound test. He's rubbing all over the boat. Where oh my gosh. Yo, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing swell. Hope you're not contracting the COVID. And if you are, stay quarantined. You guys love this guy. Davis, whip your face around and just show him that. Oh, beaut. This is my absolute homeboy, my home dog. We graduated together. He's my home skillet. Yeah, I, I straight love this guy. He's my brother from another mother. Today we're doing something that I, I've never done before. We're fishing in a paddle boat. This thing, this thing is so tiny, bro. It's like, I'm taller than this thing. It's ridiculous. I also brought the Canon 90D out here. Don't know how I quite feel about that. I guess we will when the video's over. You guys seem to love our John Boat Slaying fishing video with Davis. I decided to come back out here. He's the best angler. He's the best partner and the tourney you can have. He was nice enough to let me come out this morning. Guys, when I got here and saw this paddle boat, let me show you what I found. Davis, are, are you sure this thing floats? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? You're sure? Yeah. Because you have some little stuff growing. Like there's pretty sure some tiny trees are growing in the bottom of this boat right now. <laughs> and if we get out there and we, we sink, it's pretty cold. Yeah. And I have I have this camera right here. And I'm not going to be happy. So, <laughs> Are you sure? I, I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, putting my, I'm putting my life savings in your hands. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> this is not a good sign, buddy. The water smells too. It smells like butt cheeks, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. So the Atlanta sewage is in your boat. <laughs> and every time we pick it up, I just hear water sloshing around in there. I'm not sure, Davis. You're sure this thing floats? It floats. <laughs> I don't know about the butt cheeks smell of water. <laughs> this little basket I snagged at Walmart. We're going to be taking all the small fish out and throwing them in this thing right here. Hey, I'll let you. You, go, you be the captain. Oh my gosh, dude. You're usually the captain of the John boats. So I'll let you be the captain of this. This is heavier than straight. We haven't sunk yet, dude. That's the goal. Don't sink catch Sally's, make money. We have made it to the lake. It is a nice 70 degrees. It feels crisp. The air is right. So Davis has always had this problem where he's fishing and he doesn't really know how to set the hook yet. We're trying to train him, dude. Every time I go with him, you'll hear me say it a thousand times. Dude, you gotta set that hook. If you're wondering why you don't catch a lot of fish and you're a new angler, that's like the number one pinnacle mistake that most anglers make. They don't set the hook, man. You gotta yank them jaws. You gotta rip the lip. Here's the reason I wanted to do today's episode. I wanted to challenge myself. Most of the time I'm fishing out of a boat with a troller motor or with paddles or something. And this has this funky little steering wheel and we have to pedal like we're on a tricycle the wind literally blows you around every fish catch you spin around you lose your place and then you end up just hugging a stump like me at the same time it's so peaceful it's romantic kind of want to hold your hand Davey so so our main goal we want to slay the fatties and release them we want to catch the around two pounders and below take all of those fish out and we also want to take every spotted bass that we catch out of this pond the spotted bass will eat up all your brim they're way more aggressive and they don't grow as big as your largemouth so they'll eat all the brim that your largemouth want to eat and then you're left with a bunch of scrubby largies you don't want that to happen to your water system your waterways we have to make this pond a sally whacking machine Machine. My boy Davis is it's under quarantine right now. He's having to deal with the crusty online classes Dude, how many of you people have had to do zooms with 80 year old people that have no idea what they're doing? No idea. No idea. You're just sitting there suffering through Hey boys and girls. Hope you're doing well. Did, did you uh, did you do your homework? Everyone I'm like if we're just gonna talk about homework and look up your nostrils. Can we do this at another time? <laughs> how have your classes been going? Shoot. Shoot. That, that is right. That's right. Shoot. Hey, man, bro. <laughs> Thank you. You got to put me on the fish. If you don't put me on fish, I'm going to be ticked. I drove an hour. I woke up at the crack of dawn. Not just because I wanted to see your cute little face, but I also wanted to catch some big sallies with you, pal. And more than that, I want to net your PB today. Can we do that? Can we try that? I hope so. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a go. 
Let's burn the thighs. Let's burn the quad. Should we stretch? Should we get out and stretch really quick? Because uh, I didn't stretch. I Did think, you stretch? I think we're good. I, I don't think we had to stretch. Okay. I didn't stretch either. Okay. I just want you to know I'm a tight individual. My <laughs> my my uh, my calves will just boom. <laughs> so if that happens, I'm out. I'm out. So all right. it's all you. Peace. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get the fish on. The legs are burning already, dude. We're gonna have thunder thighs. Great uh oh. No, <laughs> he spit me, dude. Come on. I'm in good shape. I'm trying to fish, huh? Okay, okay. No! Oh, no! Oh, it's a, it's a little one, too. Did it hit you? No, no you're good. You're okay, good. I it, it my just worm. hit you. Yeah, that was a dink. That would have been a good one to get out of the pond, yeah. though. Oh! I haven't seen him yet. He's fighting good, dude. He's pulling the whole boat. Going deep. Going deep. I don't think it's that big. But I have like six pound test on this rod. Oh, yes. So. It's a perfect size to get out of here, though. Dude. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby. I got some creeks. Oh, wait. I see him. Keep it up. Keep it up. I see him. Is it a good one? Do you have a good fish, dude? Oh, oh, oh. Keep the rod up. Keep oh, the rod oh, up. Dude, that's a good fish. It's a large mouse. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Davis, I know this isn't a good fish, but that needs to come out of your pond, man. Mm -hmm. You don't want your spots eating up all your bait. These spots will out eat all the largemouth, take all the brim, and then all your largies are going to be stunted. Mm -hmm. So it's great to get these out of your pond. Ride the boat over. Oh, fish. Hey, he spit me. Oh, snap. Pinned him. Oh, good one, dude. Good fish. I haven't seen him good, but I don't think he's bad. I'm going to get crazy. I'm standing up in the paddle boat, baby. Oh, nice one, dude. It is a good one. Dude, that's a good fish. Let's go, dude. That's a, that's a decent fish. Oh, come here. dude. Oh, chill. Throwing water up on my Thank you, bro. Woo! They just engulf it, man. Got it. Got the hook out. He is one pound seven. I say we move him. So Davis's pond is under management. They're asking you to pull out fish under what length? 14. 14 inches? 14. Okay. So we have to pull out as many 14 inch and under fish as we can. That's roughly two pounds maybe a little bit over a pound and a half. But I also have a pond that is in desperate need of two pounders. So every fish we catch is going in the basket and we're gonna to try to help out Colt Tony's pond. <laughs> Got one. He might have swallowed me. Golly. I didn't know he had me. Oh, oh, he definitely swallowed, dude. That's a decent fish. Dude, okay, okay, wow. I have six pound test. I have six pound test. He's rubbing all over the boat. Where, oh my gosh. All right, dude. All right, bro. Stay it. Oh my gosh. Stay it. Oh my gosh. The joker's feisty. Come here. Come here. Got him. Gosh, dude. These fish swallow it, bro. Like you don't have a chance. They just literally just engulf it. Look at that thing, dude. That's deep in there. All right, so that's 2.8 pounds. That one's got to go back in. That's a, about a three pounder. So we'll put we'll put one good fish in here for for old Colton's pond. Oh my gosh, dude! You cast it inside of their boat. We're good. We're good. No worries. Just a quick little boat penetration. Yeah. Penetrate to the lane. Draw a step. <laughs> well, Davis was recording. I wasn't recording. I've caught another dinky spot, dude. Another spotted bass. They just ruin ponds, man. They're not good for anything. Except looking fat and ugly. <laughs> so that is our, dude, minus minus the mission to stock Colton's pond. This is uh this is pretty fun. Like every fish pulls the yak or I, I keep paddle trying to boat. Yeah, I keep trying to call this a kayak, but it's a paddle boat. Dude, this sucks, bro. This yeah. is so hard to do. Oh, gosh. Davis, 
is my main man, but he scares me sometimes. <laughs> oh my oh, Jesus. Boy. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alrighty. Just had to take a little pee break there. Oh my gosh, boys, this burns so freaking <laughs> bad. <laughs> we're almost an honey hole. It's gonna be worth it. Joggers were not the move. <laughs> Fish, fish. I was cranking it. Is it a good one? Dude, it's fighting good. Okay. Oh, do you have a fish? I thought I just, something just clamped down on it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's another spot, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> There's so many of these fish, dude. I don't know what we're gonna do with these. We don't need them all. Even this little spot right here pulled us all around. God, dog. Well, guys, the paddle boat has served us well. I will say I wanted a big fish. You get bit, man? I'm... Davey Gravy doesn't stop fishing. He's gotta be in class in like two minutes. He's like, no, I gotta catch these fish, man. We found the shaded bank, came up, pulled a, pulled a little spot out of this wood. It looks like a beaver's been chewing this stuff up, man. You might have a beaver out here, dude. Guys, we are headed to the pond. We're gonna put all these fish in Colton's pond. Not the spots, though. I'm gonna drop those off in some little river or creek. Major shout out to my main man, Davey. You're the real MVP, bro. Well, that is, oh goodness. That is it, folks, for this crusty paddle boat epi. I hope you enjoyed it. I do not plan on doing this again. <laughs> We're definitely taking the giant boat out next time, Davey, and I promise it's gonna be a lot better. I know we only caught seven fish, but they pulled every time, and I thought I was gonna flip this thing. If you guys enjoyed this episode, and you would like to see us do this, on 10 foot waves in Hawaii. The next thing are cheap. <laughs> Keep dreaming. We're never doing that bull crap. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. There's there's some sort of liquid in there. It smells like turds. It smells like Atlanta sewage is in your boat. <laughs> <laughs>